Hello all. Welcome to our new session on IBM QRadar architecture. In a security operations center, the SIEM tool is the heart of the SOC. And within the SIEM ecosystem, IBM QRadar is one of the best rated SIEM globally, per Forrester and Gartner. Well, to create your security operations deployment using QRadar, it's helpful to have a good awareness of QRadar architecture to assess how QRadar components might function in your network, and then to plan and create your QRadar deployment. IBM QRadar collects, processes, aggregates, and stores network data in real time. QRadar uses that data to manage network security by providing real time information and monitoring, alerts and offenses, and responses to network threats. IBM QRadar SIEM is a modular architecture that provides real-time visibility of your IT infrastructure, which you can use for threat detection and prioritization. You can scale QRadar to meet your log and flow collection and analysis needs. You can add integrated modules to your QRadar platform, such as QRadar Risk Manager, QRadar Vulnerability Manager, and QRadar Incident Forensics. The QRadar architecture functions the same way regardless of the size or number of components in a deployment. The following three layers that are represented in the diagram represent the core functionality of any QRadar system. That is, data collection, data processing, and data searches. On the right you can see a sample architecture that showcase how different layers and components stack up against each other. Each location of your organization, or a dedicated cloud environment, or dedicated network zone can have a collector that connects to one or different processors, which connects to a single console. Moving on. Data collection is the first layer, where data such as events or flows is collected from your network. The all-in-one appliance can be used to collect the data directly from your network, or you can use collectors such as QRadar event collectors, or QRadar QFlow collectors to collect event or flow data. The data is parsed and normalized before it passed to the processing layer. When the raw data is parsed, it is normalized to present it in a structured and usable format. The core functionality of QRadar SIEM is focused on event data collection and flow collection. Event data represents events that occur at a point in time in the user's environment such as user logins, email, VPN connections, firewall DNS, proxy connections, and any other events that you might want to log in your device logs. Flow data is network activity information or session information between two hosts on a network, which QRadar translates into flow records. QRadar translates or normalizes raw data into IP addresses, ports, byte and packet counts, and other information into flow records, which effectively represents a session between two hosts. In addition to collecting flow information with a flow collector, Full packet capture is available with the QRadar Incident Forensics component. Moving to the next component after the data collection, the second layer or data processing layer is where event data and flow data are run through the custom rules engine, which generates offenses and alerts, and then the data is written to storage. Event data and flow data can be processed by an all-in-one appliance, without the need for adding event processors or flow processors. If the processing capacity of the all-in-one appliance is exceeded, then you might need to add event processors, flow processors, or any other processing appliance to handle the additional requirements. You might also need more storage capacity, which can be handled by adding data nodes. QRadar Risk Manager collects network infrastructure configuration and provides a map of your network topology. You can use the data to manage risk by simulating various network scenarios, through altering configurations and implementing rules in your network. QRadar Vulnerability Manager can help scan your network and process the vulnerability data, or manage the vulnerability data that is collected from other scanners, such as NESHAs and RAPID7. The vulnerability data that is collected is used to identify various security risks in your network. QRadar Incident Forensics can help perform in-depth forensic investigations and replay full network sessions. In the third or top layer, data that is collected and processed by QRadar is available to users for searches, analysis, reporting, and alerts or offense investigation. Users can search and manage the security admin tasks for their network from the user interface on the QRadar console. In an all-in-one system, all data is collected, processed, and stored on the all-in-one appliance. 
In distributed environments, the QRadar console does not perform event and flow processing, or storage. Instead, the QRadar console is used primarily as the user interface where users can use it for searches, reports, alerts, and investigations. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.